joined with Allegheny County Legislator Ted Hopkins, who's come to Albany to help promote the agriculture industry. I'd like to thank you, Ted, for joining us here today. Tell us uh, why you're here in Albany, all the way from Allegheny County. Well, Allegheny County and all of New York State agriculture is a very important part of the economy. In fact, Allegheny County is number one. You know, we have dairy, we have some crops, uh, corn, soybeans, potatoes, peas, etc. But it's, a, it's the main economic driver of our county. And I'm here because I'm, I'm glad to see that NISAC is now really taking a very active role in helping agriculture, helping the state agriculture survive. And, and what's our, right now is some tough times. And so I feel you know, it's very important to be active. And, and I'm, again, I'm glad to see NISAC has taken this position of being uh, uh, active in, in, in supporting agriculture. Do farmers interact with the county of Allegheny? Are they are they part of the Allegheny County Board of Legislators? What role do farmers play back home? Well, I'm a farmer, so I'm part of the board. But, and yes, I mean, it, you know, we, we the Farm Bureau, we, we certainly take a lot of lead from what they, they give us of information. We're very active in, uh, in the legislation that comes along from our Senator Kathy Young or, or uh, Joe Gillio or, or Dan Burling passes them down. So we're, yeah, we have a very active legislator who, who are very sensitive to the needs of, of the agriculture community. If you had to tell the state officials, the governor, or United States representatives to Congress, or or members of the state legislature, one thing about helping agriculture in New York State, what would that one thing be right now? Well, right now I think it's 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 the prices of our commodities that we're receiving, that we're receiving whether it's milk or any even the corn or soybeans or you know any other commodities. I think they you know with the very Uncertainty of the price of fertilizer and chemicals and, and, the, and the price of land. I think you know the one thing is we have to establish a, a price that farmers can, good farmers can be successful at. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Steve.